I am Anil Kumar and now let us explore some properties of quadrilaterals and this time we will take a square. Here we have a square. Can you tell me why it is a quadrilateral? Well, it has four sides and therefore it is quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is any two dimensional figure which has four sides. Now, square is a special quadrilateral. We'll look into its properties, what makes it a square. The first one which you see, that the four sides of a square are all equal. So, it has four equal sides. We can write it down. A square has all four equal sides. How about the angles? Well, the angles inside a square are all 90 degrees, right? In a quadrilateral, you know the sum of angles is always 360. Quadrilateral is a four-sided figure and sum of interior angles is always 360 degrees. Now, in a square, since all four sides are equal, the interior angles of the square are 90 degrees, right? So, all four angles are 90 degrees each, correct? Now, of course, they will add to, so four angles add to how much? 360 degrees. And that is for all quadrilaterals, right? Now, are the opposite sides parallel? Yes, they are. So we say it has two pairs of and these pairs are opposite sides. Parallel sides. What else you can say about the square? How about line of symmetry? Hmm. It has four lines of symmetry. Can you draw them? Try to make a square and draw four lines of symmetry. Now lines of symmetry are four. One I can draw like this, a horizontal, right? If I fold it along the horizontal side, it will overlap, right? So it has that line of symmetry, even this one. So that makes it two. How do we get four lines of symmetry? Hmm. How about the diagonals? Okay, so if I fold it along the diagonals, it will fold, right? So that makes it four lines of symmetry. Correct. Now, can you tell me about rotational symmetry? Do you know what is rotational symmetry? If I rotate square, let us say counterclockwise, 90 degrees, will I get the same figure? Yes, I will. How about rotating by 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees? We get exactly the same figure. And therefore, we say that the rotational symmetry for square is how much? Is 4, right? Since rotation by 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees gives you exactly the same square, right? Okay, what else can we say about a square? How about intersection of diagonals? Well, these are the two diagonals of the square. When they intersect, at what angle do they intersect? What I'm trying to say is, these two diagonals drawn here, they intersect at what angle? Is it 90 degrees? Yes, it is. So, diagonals intersect at 90 degrees. Now, about the diagonals, when they intersect at this point, is it the center of the square? Kind of, will you find these two sides of a diagonal equal? Check it out. They are equal, right? So, diagonals bisect 
we can combine these two and then write Badagnus bisect at 90 degrees, right? So, we can say that also, right? Anyway, Diagonals bisect, that means when they intersect, then the two portions of the diagonal are equal, right? So, these are some properties of squares. Now, in a square, if I know length of a side, let us say length of the side is S, then all sides are S, right? So, in that case, we can use few formulas. And let me write down these formulas here. So what is the area of a square? Area of the square will be of length side. It will be side length times side or square of the length of the side. And how about the perimeter? Perimeter is sum of four sides. So we can say four times s, right? So these are a few properties of squares which you should know. Now we'll explore properties of other quadrilaterals in the coming videos. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about quadrilaterals. Thank you and all the best.